Hi, my name is Richard Snashel and I'm the one who's behind the camera here. I've got the, the lucky job of being able to document on film the enlarged Cotter Dam and all the associated works that are going on, the archaeological works, the environmental works, the endangered fish management. So this is a bit of a view of the site. What I'm going to show you here is a couple of rough cuts of what's going on on site of the progress of the works and we'll do this every, every month or so. So here we've got the guys getting ready to lift the crusher building. Now it took four Rumbles cranes to, to lift this very, very large building which will contain the, the, the crusher plant. And of course, this was a very, very big job as far as safety went, but it was executed seamlessly and, uh, and that's because there was a lot of planning that went into it. Now this is looking down to, of course, where the new Cotter Dam wall will go. Uh, the Cotter River usually flows along here and some pipes are being brought in to this area which has been cleared. Uh, now these pipes will, will channel any, funnel any water that occurs in a big rain event during construction. Obviously, of course, the, the management of these water issues is very, very important during the construction process. The old Cotter Dam wall there. There's a bit of work going on on the old Cotter Dam wall installing some flashboarding. Now what we're seeing here is some of the environmental work. These guys are spraying a mix of grass seed and water, uh, non-potable uh, non water I should point out, onto the embankments of the new hall roads that have been built. And now with all this lovely rain we've been having recently, that grass is beginning to sprout. Some of the big boys, some of the uh, construction managers there out on site having a look at the works. Now we're looking over towards where the batch plant is going in. Uh, this little bloke was beside me while I was doing some filming. Here I'm on top of Stockpile Hill. You can see the crusher building down there in the background. This hill will be used for stockpiling of materials. There's a view from the Brindabella Road of some of the new hall roads uh, being constructed and they're in operation. There's the looking up towards the batch plant, a bit of tree, tree clearing. This is one of the great environmental stories of the project. Here we've got Dave Smith from Scope Landscaping. Dave's a bit of an expert when it comes to plants like the xanthorea. So this is the lovely ancient xanthorea plant, uh, which grows in the hardy sort of terrain around the cotter. And these plants are hundreds of years old and they survived the two 2003 bushfires. And what's happening is some of these xanthoreas are being relocated to the National Botanic Gardens. So that's a couple of guys there from the National Botanic Gardens and they're loading up their truck and taking these away um, because this site will become the batch plant site. And I always love picking up shots of animal and bird life that you might just come across. And here's a beautiful bird of prey soaring over the site. Anyway, we'll see you next time with some more progress shots of the works at the Enlarged Cotter Dam.